How dare you trespass on my land, you fool. You do not know my strength. But you don't know my special power, being totally white. Oh no, he knows my weakness! <laughs> Amazon Desert, where right now we are hunting the elusive Kupatabra. He is right over there, right there. What are you doing? I'm recording. No, you're not. This is my show. What? What's the my heck? show? Hi, everyone. What are you doing in here in the dark? I'm recording. You think that accent is cool? It is. Well, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, he did something to the camera. What have you done? Hi, I'm John with the scene. This is Biscuit Studios. Hi, I'm Isaac with two A's. Yeah, and uh, we are doing the Winky Squid right now, currently. Today we're going to be talking about the topic of entertainment, which is a very vast and uh, um, in depth topic. So, very, and very depth. So I decided. We're gonna do entertainment. We might... Where'd you get this pencil? This is so squeaky. Goodness. Faber Castle. Don't know that brand. All right. We might as well start with the very beginning. And the very beginning, one of the first forms of entertainment was the drum. The whistle. It was about five thousand years ago, and uh, I'm just gonna blaze through these because they're pretty boring. The drum was about five thousand years ago. Next, we get the acoustic guitar. That was about. Eh, yeah, 1500s. 1500s. Then we got the piano. About 1600s, you know. The didgeridoo. That's didgeridoo is pretty old. 5,000 years old. And yeah. then we got Five, the electric three, guitar, which came out in 1931. Yeah. And then from 1931, there have been a lot more. We've and gotten we more records. Not, we have expanded on that. After records, records, we got eight tracks. And then we got cassettes. VHS. Then we got... Discs, no, not discs. Wait a second, we skipped one. We got cassettes. No, maybe we, was it went from cassettes? I don't know, but anyway, it came up like that. Came up like that, and now and we then, had digital har okay. digital copies of everything. Yeah, but we are going to go to the era of 2000, 1990. We'll start with 2008. Late with, 1990s. We're starting with 2008 with this. This right here, the Xbox 360. It's a beauty. It's a big hunk of uh, plastic, of plastic and amazingness. This is actually the second one that came out because the first one that came out didn't actually have the HDMI port. Yeah, and uh, that's, that's only the 60 gigabyte one. The Xbox 360. Then after that, we got. But before that, we have it this is very nice forehead hi-fi stereo. It has a big dual slot has right a here. VHS player and a DVD player. It's very high tech. It plays like these type of things for all you uneducated people out there. Yeah, they have tape on this. This goes right in the slot like that. I mean, but when the thing has power hooked up to it, it'll suck it in and start playing it. And before this, there was a. Uh, Something that would play this, and it'd just be <coughs> music, or it'd just be like an audiobook or something like that, and it'd be on a smaller version of this. And before you had cassette VHSs, all you the only way you could watch movies was in the theaters. Yeah, and uh, it was on a tape, and it was rolling and stuff. It was pretty. It, it was like the latest technology, and everyone loved it. Yeah. And I hate how my chair keeps squeaking. No, get anyway, over it. After the first Xbox and then the 360 came the, X, the Xbox One. The Xbox One, which is closer to our generation. That's more, well, I mean, that's our generation too, but. This is our generation. It's the still, Xbox One came out, I think, well, it was four, five years ago now. Uh, yeah. Four and then ago. now we have the Xbox One S and then the One X. Ask, shoot, it's six years ago. Six years ago. That's a pretty old thing now. Now, now we have, we have the Xbox iPhone one. and all this stuff. We've kind of blown through this, so let's kind of like take a look back at our favorite things. One of your favorite passions and, and hobbies is My hobby is collecting records. Collecting records. There's some on the walls up here. Let's, let's see if we can angle the camera up. Wait. But these are all ones right that don't there. work. Yeah, these are ones that don't really work too well. They're all scratched up. Only one or two of them really work. But The only one that works is right there, but that's just a duplicate. It's out of frame. 
And uh, so he'll collect those. They're, they're... I also play this instrument right behind John. The bass. The bass guitar. Yep. Yes. And that's fairly it's a new. Four stringed instrument. Four stringed instrument, very cool. Uh, one of my favorite inventions thus far has been the car. And the car. A lot of people don't like the automotive. Automo Dang, that's annoying. Don't really uh, I see that as a entertainment, but I love driving. Even though technically I don't have a license. Same. I but do like driving. Do you have a dream car? Like a car uh, you've always wanted or something? No, I don't. I can't remember the name of it, but I do remember what Mine? it looked like. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was in 1963 split window Corvette. And then the other one is a 1961 Jaguar E Type. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Those sound pretty cool. I have no idea what they are, but they sound amazing. Yeah. So, any other favorites over the years that uh, have, have crickled down? What do you think the oldest gaming console is? The oldest gaming console? Like, are you talking home entertainment system? It's like, or it's like you can control straight the Straight game. gaming control console like arcade. Hmm. Ah, arcade games. Like Pac-Man and... Yeah, Pac-Man Tet Tetris? That was an arcade No, game. Tetris has always been a home entertainment game. Really? Yep, Tetris was on the NES. Well, I guess uh, Pac-Man is the only one I know, so... Yep, Pac-Man, Pac Defender... Late 80s, right? Early yeah. 80s? Uh, no, Pac-Man was late 70s. I'm uneducated. Yep. Uh, um, a very educated man right here. Yeah, and then in... Well, so back in the 70s you got the Atari 2600. They kind of died, and it kind of ruined home entertainment or home consoles for a while. And then the only reason we have them back today is because of the is because of the Nintendo or the Nintendo Entertainment uh, System. Nintendo released back in 80, 1985. Nintendo. And that console is basically the only thing that brought back all of home gaming. And then off of that, other companies started building like the Sega Genesis. All the other gaming and consoles. And that one you just mentioned, not the Sega, but the, the, one, NES. the, the NES and uh, the Nintendo evolved into the Switch that we have today. So Yeah, that went from the Switch. It's a pretty it's old pretty gaming. pretty long time between the Switch and the NES because, well, They've been it around went from for a the while. NES to the Super NES <laughs> to the N64 to the GameCube to the Wii to the Wii U. Yeah. Then to the switch. Uh, can we have a moment of silence for the Wii and the Wii U? Yep. All right. Okay, enough of that. There's actually a Wii in one of these drawers. Yep, right here. For some reason or another, the Wii Here's just a Wii right here. died. It yeah, wasn't. It did kind of die. I really don't have an explanation it's for a, that. It was a. It's a fun console, but it did just die. It didn't have the legs for the race. Like yeah. it, it was a good. It's a good console for a little while. Yeah. It yeah. definitely did Nintendo good in the beginning. And but then when they re released the Wii U, it kind of died really quickly. Cuz the Wii U was a very stupid concept. Yeah. Didn't really work out for them. It kind of just flopped face first and they were dead flopped in the water for a while. Yeah, and then they came out with the Switch. Switch is very cool. Switch is very nice. Yeah. And uh can you play any instruments? I play piano and bass. Piano and bass, is that it? Uh, I know a little bit on guitar. Any other instruments? Like this? Uh, yeah. No, I can't really play this. I can play like a song or two, but no. Uh, what? Then play a song. Okay. What song are you going to play for us today? Um, how would you make a request? The, the Shire song. The Shire song? The, that one Shire. Inspiring Shy Hobbits? That's the one. Okay, I'll try. Might fail, but it's here okay. we go. Just, just do it. <laughs> Okay, cool. Alright, that was a fail. That was a flop. That was good. No, that was horrible. I missed like four notes in there. Well, I wouldn't have hit any of the notes, so good yeah, on you. you got a point there. And uh, that's like every single entertainment option ever. Well, not really, but we kind of just covered some of the basics. I know there's going to be a lot that we left out, but... Uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot we left out. If you have a favorite uh, gaming or entertainment option that has been introduced thus far, 
uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Make sure to dislike and leave a hate comment. And uh, we love all those hate comments. Wait, hate comments. I've just been notified on my phone. Did you get a hate comment? I don't know. Hate comments are the best, guys. They just right there. Nope, not a hate comment. All right then. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you hopefully next time. And if I don't die, wait, the episodes aren't over yet. How dare you trespass on my land, you d**khead! <laughs> How dare you trespass on sacred land, you dirty bastard! <laughs>